The protesters carried portraits of President Assad in Syrian flags as they converged on the American and French embassies in Damascus. They said they were angry about interference in the country's internal affairs. I want to send a message to France specifically and to Sarkozy and the ambassador who interfered in our affairs and went to Hama without permission from the Syrian foreign ministry. This is wrong. Who allowed them to interfere in our affairs? Who gave them permission to go to Hama? Who gave them permission to enter the Syrian governorate? The demonstrators scrawled graffiti on the walls and burned American flags near the U.S. embassy. They broke windows at the French mission and security staff fired live ammunition at the crowds to prevent further damage. The U.S. was quick to condemn the incident at the highest level. As we have expressed directly to the Syrian government today, we demand that they meet their international responsibilities immediately to protect uh, all diplomats and the property of all countries. Uh, the Assad regime will not succeed in deflecting the world's attention from the real story unfolding in Syria. A French foreign ministry spokesman was equally scathing about the Syrian authorities. There is an international convention, whose name is the Vienna Convention, uh, which is not, and repeatedly, not respected by the Syrian authorities, because they have the obligation to protect, to give security to the diplomats uh, posted in Damascus. These incidents come as the Assad regime tries to defuse international criticism by holding two days of talks with some opposition leaders. But there are allegations that some opponents of the government weren't allowed to attend. And more amateur video said to be from the cities of Homs and Hama appears to show the violent crackdown is continuing. With a death toll reaching 1,600 protesters and 350 soldiers, it is hard to see how the conflict can be resolved. Gamal Fambele, Sky News.